welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the temperatures in degree Celsius of two cities for the latter half of the year are given to us. That is, the temperatures for city A and city B are given to us. And we have to compare and contrast measure of variation in two cities using interquartile range. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. Now we know that quartiles divide the given data into quarters. Now here Q1 is the lower quartile, Q2 is the median, which is called the middle quartile and Q3 is called the upper quartile. That is, this vertical line is Q1, this vertical line is Q2, and this vertical line is Q3. So here, the interquartile range starts from Q1 to Q3. Therefore, interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Or we can say interquartile range is equal to upper quartile minus lower quartile. And this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in this question, first of all we will find the interquartile range of both these series. First of all, for city A, let us arrange the data from least to the greatest. And here, arranging this data from the least to the greatest, we have 11. 20, 32, 48, 60 and 69. Now here the number of terms n in this given data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which is even. Therefore the median Q2 is the mean of middle two terms which is 32 plus 48 whole upon 2 which is equal to 80 upon 2 that is equal to 40. So median is in between 32 and 48. Now the values below Q2 forms the lower half and the values above Q2 forms the upper half of the given data. Now median of lower half is lower quartile and median of upper half is upper quartile. Now in the lower half we have three terms which is odd. So middle value that is this value will be the median of the lower half of the given data. So this is Q1 or you can say 20 is the lower quartile of the given data. Similarly, the median of upper half of the given data is 60. which is the upper quartile of the given data or we can say Q3 is equal to 60. Now we have to find the interquartile range for this data. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, 
इंटर क्वार्टाइल रेंज इज इक्वल टू अपर क्वार्टाइल क्यू थ्री माइनस लोअर क्वार्टाइल क्यू वन विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी माइनस ट्वेंटी विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी Similarly, we will find the interquartile range for city B. Now, for city B, arranging the data from the least to the greatest, we have twenty, twenty-two, thirty-two, forty-five, fifty-six, and sixty. Now, here the number of terms is six, which is even. So the median Q2 is the mean of middle two terms, which is equal to 32 plus 45 whole upon 2, which is equal to 77 upon 2, which is equal to 38.5. So the median Q2 lies between 32 and 45. Now we know that median of lower half is lower quartile, and median of upper half is upper quartile. Now in the lower half, here we have three terms. So median will be the middle term, which is 22. Therefore, 22 is the lower quartile Q1 of the given data. Similarly, 56 is the upper quartile Q3 of the given data. Now here, the interquartile range for this data is equal to Q3 minus Q1, which is equal to 56 minus 22, which is equal to 34. So the interquartile range. For city B is 34, and here we have interquartile range for city A, which is 40. Now you can see that median for city A is 40, and median for city B is 38.5. So here, medians for these cities are close, but interquartile range for city A is 40, and interquartile range for city B is 34. Therefore, we can say that data is more spread in city A because. Its interquartile range is higher, which shows greater variability. So this is the solution of the given question, and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.